Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. How appropriate. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for the Hitman Trilogy. As Diana said there, we are in Bangkok, and we're after two targets this time again. Uh, one's over there, and the other is up in his private suite. So, this is one of the nicer places we've been to, because... Well, I did. Sapienza was really nice. Morocco was kind of not so much. Thank you. Uh, yes, so we actually are checked into this hotel, which is a nice change. We actually have a suite here. I think that's where I want to start because I have stashed uh, my garrote wire there. It's always nice when you have an official reason to be here. Tobias Reaper. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now we can follow. All right, so we're just gonna follow this guy. Ken Morgan, that's one. That's a lawyer I'm after. If I remember correctly, the story for this one is Jordan Cross is kind of like this uh, a typical <laughs> stuck-up rich kid rock star who has basically killed his girlfriend, I believe, pushed her out a window, if I remember correctly, according to the intro cinematic, which I haven't seen in a while. And Ken Morgan is his father's lawyer who basically got him off the murder charge. So we're here to deal with them. On the behalf of the family, I believe, was... I believe that's the background. Either way, we have to take care of them. And this is a hotel with tons of security, so that might be a little tricky. However, we are allowed to wander around a little bit. But largely in this... Basically, there's like two towers to this hotel. This one over here, we're allowed to be in. This is your room, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Thank you. Please don't hesitate to let us know if there's anything you need. And there goes the store. All right, so here we are. And the other, if you uh, look at the map here, uh, yeah, there's Jordan Cross. That side of the hotel is off limits to us, so we are going to need some way of getting in there. All right. I believe, yes, this is where my fiber wire is stored. All right. Yeah. I always feel uncomfortable carrying this gun around, so I'm going to drop it here. I do not care for guns in general. <laughs> but also, it's a massive uh, issue if you ever had to frisk. I also brought lockpicks this time because I forgot last time where something happened. I was fairly certain I selected them. Then you turn on a TV. I don't think this does anything, but I... No, maybe it's a... I don't know if that's a distraction. I don't want anyone to do that. All right. I don't want to alert anyone I don't have to yet. All right. Opportunities. That was always fun. Our friend's electric bugman... Interve intervention. Okay. It's Yeah, it's his birthday party. It somehow seems appropriate, like Diana said. He's 27. Club 27 is literally the title of uh, this mission. It would somehow seem wrong not to do something with this uh, birthday. Alright, so let's see if we can get this opportunity to work. I think that's in the other building, but if I remember correctly, there is another way of... Uh, taking care of that. No. 
I think that's Jordan Cross's manager, agent, talking to the hotel manager there. I think if we go over, we can eavesdrop on our conversation, it'll trigger this opportunity in the restaurant area. So let us head over there. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Yeah, that's one of my targets. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering, uh, there are five dishes of food here. This is a method of getting rid of him. It's not going to work because I don't have any poison. But if you get a waiter disguise and poison one of these, Eventually, he will eat from the poisoned tray and die. And it is a completely perfect accident kill if you have the means to do so. Alright. Let's overflow the sink because I'm fair. There we go. I think I may have messed this up already. One second. Yeah, I think we have to get him into the other one because that's the one that has the. Uh... Let's go. It's not too far back. Still a little rusty. I forgot which one of them it is that has the cupboard you can put the body in because otherwise I have to drag the body through the. Uh, the unconscious guy through the. Uh, through the bathroom, which is kind of annoying. Like this. If we go into the kitchen, which I think waiters and kitchen staff can get in there, I can uh, eavesdrop on the conversation I need to trigger this uh, opportunity. I could try to go through with it without it, but it's fine. I got here earlier this time. Like I said, if you actually just watch, I'll just show you. He basically comes and samples all these. I don't even know if you're allowed to, really, but he does it anyway. Yeah, there's a bunch of them you can poison. It is literally random which one he goes to, I believe. Or there might, there might be a sequence, but I honestly don't know if there is. And, uh, yeah, it works. It gets rid of him, eventually. You have to be patient, because... Obviously... Honestly, my outfit doesn't look all that different from what I was wearing before. Alright. Now, new set of spotter... Well, noticers I have to watch out for now. Uh, including the head chef, I believe. Today is 
There we go. What is there in a cake that needs eggs, I suppose? I don't know. Vegan is real weird. Yes. Alright. I need a chef disguise if I want to go complete this opportunity. Alright. Soda cans. They're one use uh, non lethal incapacitation items. Alright. Yeah, so one of you head over there, and the other... Okay, that didn't work. Alright. Eh, messing up with my... Wait, how do I get my coin back? Doesn't matter. I guess it. Oh, wait. Did he actually hear it? I think he did. Alright, in the chest freezer. Do not do this at home. It, he would be dead. I cannot stress that enough. Do not, do not trust what video games have told you. Do about uh, non-lethal takedowns in video games. All right, the other guy's a spotter now. However, I had a second soda can, so I'm going to use that to take him out, and I'm going to put him in this one. There we go. Okay, now we get the sugar topper. Why is everyone searching? Also, who is searching? Oh, I accidentally left the, uh... I see what that is. I left the, uh the taps running, so someone actually had to go and investigate that. Oh good, he's right by the thing I need. Oh, this is the part where patience comes in handy. You just need to wait for him to... the birthday cake. Alright, now I just need to find a way out of here that doesn't have a bunch of... are walking right alongside me. Alright. Yeah, I have to avoid most of the kitchen staff at this point, I think. In the chef disguise, unfortunately. 
All right. Now, we just have to make it all... This, uh, I believe, catering staff is allowed up there, so we're good to go. And we have the cake topper. Yeah, there's a bunch of spotters. Bonjour, chef. Hello. I'm not French. <laughs> All right. So we're allowed up here. So this is the lounge. I haven't recorded my security camera. I'm going to have to deal with that. Here, I believe you wanted a cake topper. He is. All right, I'm just going to take uh, cover behind here. And uh, once again, now we wait. Do you though? You'll you'll see what I mean in a moment. These are professional musicians. <laughs> I think. Is this the band, or is this just like his like like a group of friends that travels around with him? <laughs> well, given the lifestyle that rock stars tend to lead, that would not surprise me. Don't worry, I will be sure to show him how little I care. Here it comes. I mean, I would say it's a typical rock star thing to be late to your own birthday, but it's a surprise birthday, so he doesn't know that he's getting a party, I suspect. Here we uh, this does take a while, unfortunately. <laughs> Speaking of knives, do you guys have a knife to cut the cake? I did not see one there. You wish you a happy see what I mean? I'm assuming this is like a rights issue, because otherwise these are the worst musicians on the planet. Seriously, what exactly goes into a v cake that vegans are like? I assume it has to be the eggs, but... Uh, sensing an issue there, but that's not my problem. <laughs> that's not my family drama to worry about. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to wait a bit longer for this. Yeah, Colin. <laughs> you completely messed that up, and it's nothing to do with all the behind the scenes family drama. Okay. I know, but maybe your father is a complicated man. This is, uh, this, this is 
his way of, of reaching out and, and trying. Oh, that asshole never reached for anything but his wallet. I, I'll tell you what this is. This is one giant frosting cover. Fuck you. This is Thomas Cross saying, I own you, bitch. And he's reading an awful lot into that. I will always screw up and need him to bail me out. That's an awful lot to read into. Yeah, it really is a lot to read into a cake. Maybe I should have been the psychiatrist option from Sapienza. <laughs> that should have been an option here. I didn't use it in Sapienza, but it was an option. Yeah. Alright. And... Smother him in his own birthday cake. <laughs> Here's poetic justice. <laughs> Sometimes it's just nice to let people do good things for you, mister. Also, you shouldn't have killed your girlfriend. All right. What opportunities do I have left? Yeah, no. A lot of these had to do with cross. I don't recognize this one. All right, let's go take a look at this. I have recorded my security camera. I'll have to take care of that. Yeah, there's an opportunity. I think it's for dealing with Cross and not Ken Morgan. I can't remember. Right, I'm in the basement now. All right, manager, you'll note. <sighs> Seriously, having these uh, rock stars around is bad. <laughs> That one sounds like it'd take a while. Also, I have to get to the bodyguard. Yeah. Alright. Not every opportunity is going to work out. Let's give this one a try instead. Where is this one? I think it's back up the way it came. I also have to figure out where the security cameras are. And the... So this is the security room. Oh, but I need a key card. Well, that could be a problem. All right. I should still be allowed around here, so. Break the TV. Uh, 
All right, so there's a letter. This sounds a bit more. This sounds like a better plan. Alright. I wish she was my manager. Dexie. Managing your shit, you bet. <laughs> nah. Dexie Barrett doesn't waste time on energy. She's a king might kill that one. Only works with the best. What? I mean, she's been with Jordan in the class since the beginning. It's different. Few upcoming artists are gonna fool to hire a superstar manager. Least of all full time. Jordan can. He could have bought up monumental records without making a dent in his trust fund. Yeah. That's right. Hiring Dexy Barrett is the only privileged thing he did. He wanted to prove himself. Do it right. Gotta respect that. Yeah, yeah. Still want to prove. Seriously. Why? Jordan's amazing. He's cool, good looking. And let's not forget, he's a kick ass artist. Yeah, you know, I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> Alright, this is the way for this guy to isolate himself and for that person to stop throwing up. Excuse me, I have to go clean up the mess you made in... Alright. Nowhere to hide this body, so I'm just gonna try and hide it from view. Yeah, I can see this one... There's that spotter again. On the other hand, a rock star entourage member passed out in the bathroom cannot be that odd. I mean, look at what these people are doing to themselves here. Still pretty sure it's gonna count against my score if they find that. Find him in there. Alright. Just need to deliver this letter. This should be a lot simpler, I think. Except for the uh, hotel manager walking across the lobby right at this moment. Coming this way. Hi, Chef. Uh, thank you. Hello. I'm gonna cut through this way. But I want to keep this disguise on for the moment because it's going to give me relative free reign. Screwdriver. That's a lethal weapon, effectively. Oh, good grief, she's coming this way. She's coming this way. Yeah, so like I said, relative free reign, despite the fact that at the moment it's causing pro problems. Oh, there's Ken Morgan there now. Great. He has a loop, and in order for this to work, I need him to basically come get the letter at a certain point in his loop.
need him to be looking the other way. And then I can head over there and place the letter. And I don't really need to worry too much about anything else at the moment. There we go. He's turning around. That should be enough for him. Uh, I can, yeah. Now we have to wait. Now they'll page Morgan, I believe. And uh, then we just have to wait for him to show up. take a gamble here. I'm going to go back and get changed into my regular outfit so I can just wait around. Yeah, that particular woman uh, flirts with the 47 a lot. On these missions. Should you really be sampling someone else's meal? I mean, your letter's right over there waiting for you. Get to the basement this way. In fact, I think I <laughs> tied, I did it pretty good. Oh, except except for him. All right, go through this way. There we go.
All right, now. A quandary uh, in front of me. Do I cut my losses now and get, I think, a guaranteed four star rating and take that exit? Or do I somehow try to get Silent Assassin by sneaking into a heavily guarded security room to erase some security tapes? You know what? For the first time, I think I'm going to take the loss. You can't get Silent Assassin every time. This has been a pretty clean run. I think I'm going to take it. There we go. Well, not Silent Assassin this time. However, I'm doing pretty well on Silent Assassin so far. Eventually, it's going to have to run out of luck. Ominous. Yes, as you can see, some of the pieces are fitting together now. And Diana and 47 are learning what we learned a little while ago that we're doing someone's uh, work for them. Yeah, four stars, not, not Silent Assassin. Yeah, I honestly, Bangkok is a very hard level to not get recorded on my security cameras on, and it's very even harder to delete them. I think I have managed to get it before. However, not today, it seems. And with that, we're approaching the end of Hitman 1. Well, uh, at least the main story. There is some DLC side content I'll probably be exploring after the main game. Uh, before moving on to Hitman 2. Either way, that was the Bangkok level. Not quite Silent Assassin this time, unfortunately. However, you can take what you can get. That's, honestly, that's <laughs> pretty clean. 
Thank you for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please join me here again next time as we continue our adventures in the world of assassins, as we close in on the mysterious shadow client who is pulling strings from behind the scenes. Goodbye, everyone.